Auto Obsessed here. Today we're going to introduce some products from the Obsessed product lineup. Obsessed products were created in consultation with Auto Obsessed. So today we're going to introduce the Obsessed leather cleaner and the Obsessed leather conditioner. In addition, some of the tools we'll be using to do this demonstration, we're going to be using various horsehair brushes and soft nylon bristle brushes designed for leather cleaning, some applicators, some microfiber towels, and for safety, some latex gloves. Now let's take a look at the vehicle and we'll go over some of the processes that you'll need to do in order to clean and condition your leather. Here we have a BMW with red leather seats. When we look at it on the first inspection, it looks to be that the seats are in pretty good condition. But once we take a further look, we can see in the seams where we have two different colors, the leather is quite a bit bright, brighter. Our stitching's dirty. On our bolsters, we have dark spots. Uh, also, some areas are shiny. This leather is normally matte. So we can see by looking at it that there's going to be quite an improvement once we start to clean and condition these seats. To do this process, there's four basic steps, and we're going to go over those steps in detail. So the first stage is vacuuming the seats. We're want, going to want to get into the cracks and the crevices in the stitching and just remove any of the loose debris that's on the seats. Stage two is going to be clean the leather. Here we're going to be using this, the obsessed leather cleaner with horsehair brushes and leather brushes along with the microfiber towels. Stage three, we're going to condition the leather. And the last stage is stage four, where we're just going to remove any of the excess leather conditioner that wasn't absorbed into the seats. A couple tips and a couple notes. So first off, we have put a tape line on the seat. This is just for the video and just for demonstration purposes. It's just going to allow us to show the transition a lot better uh, on video as, as there is a lot of uh, color loss when, uh, when we are taking videos. So this is something we don't recommend you doing uh, yourself. Once again, this is for demonstration purposes only, just to show the transition of the, of the before and the after side by side. Uh, another note is this is perforated leather. So we want to make sure that we're not saturating the area too much. We don't want uh, the cleaning material and water, etc., cetera, into the, into the holes. So we want to, a couple ways to alleviate that. We can, uh, we want to maybe put the, put the product in a different area. We can spray the product on a brush. Um, also, uh, just, just for a good practice, we have a, uh, a vacuum uh, nearby that, that can uh, suck up uh, the uh, cleaner, just in case you had much heavier perforation and you wanted to make sure that it didn't get into there. We're using uh, leather brushes, so we're using brushes that are horsehair and also soft nylon that are designed for um, cleaning leather. Um, the brush is actually a very, very important part of cleaning the leather because it's going to get into the grain. It's going to get into the grain and allow you to get into some of the areas that you wouldn't maybe do it just with a towel or an applicator. So the brush is quite important. Just make sure you're not applying too much pressure. You can apply a little bit of pressure, but not too much. Um, you also want to uh, be aware of, of uh, you picking up dye. We're using white towels uh, for two purposes. One, we're going to see if we are picking up any dye. Two, um, we're, we're going to see what we're lifting off the seat. And I guess the third reason is we also don't want, because this is a lighter type leather, um, we don't want to use a darker towel and potentially bleed the dye from the towel into the seat. So a couple reasons or a few reasons why we're using the white towel. Um, if you, um, one, sometimes we do see dye being picked up and that's generally from a case where the seats have been repaired. So maybe the vehicle was pre-owned, it, uh, it went through a resale, uh, the previous owner or maybe the dealership, etc., might have got the leather fixed. So they did a spray dye and that's, that's what we see sometimes when we're picking up dye. So, and the last best practice is always do your due diligence, read the directions, also do testing. Like 
uh, go to an area, maybe the back of the seat or, or lower on the seat that you know isn't going to show. Do some testing. Make sure that you're not going to be doing any damage uh, when you're cleaning and conditioning the seats. So the first part of cleaning the leather, we're just going to use some of the obsessed leather cleaner. We're going to spritz a little bit on the first portion of the seat that we're going to be cleaning. Take your leather brush. We're just going to do a circular motion back and forth. We just want to get into the grain nicely. And once we're done that section, we can wipe off. So we're using the white towel. We're just going to pull it in one direction. I can already see we're, we're turning it uh, quite, quite matte. It's already getting a little bit brighter. We're not picking up too much right now, but I can already with my eyes see a transition. So we might want to do this a couple times um, to get the leather as clean as possible. We'll just show you in this area here, the bolster. We've got a little bit more uh, contour. We have stitching, we have some edging. So similar process, I'm just going to spray some of the leather cleaner onto the area. Here we can use various brushes to get into the stitching. It's just a little bit more detail. Once again, I'm not applying a lot of pressure but enough that we can actually get into the grooves and, and get into all the grain of the leather. You can also spray some of the leather cleaner onto the bristle itself to control it a little bit better. Got a nice lather going here now. Just gonna do on the sides. So that kind of covers this area. I'm going to wipe that off, just the, some of the spray. So we're starting to see an improvement already. The towel's starting to get dirty. We're picking up a fair amount of uh, dirt and dust and, and such over, over the time that the vehicle's been used. This vehicle is, uh, this vehicle is three years old now. Okay, and we're just going to go on to the other sections. I'll just do a little bit more here and then we will uh, we'll just finish the seat and then come back. I'm using the larger brush so we can just cover a little bit more surface area now. Want a bit more product on here. I'm just going to keep it away from the perforation. I'm not using a lot so it's not it's not a big concern right now. You can also use a detail brush, a round detail brush and we can go into the perforation. So it's coming out it's quite a bit more orange now. It's starting to look really 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 good. Just going to grab the detail brush here. So what we can do here as well is we can spray some product onto the brush itself if we want to get into the perforation. Maybe into the cracks a little bit better. This brush is quite soft so I'm holding it lower. And just pull just in one direction. We don't want to rub it in. We don't want to do a circle. Okay, we're starting to see quite a bit of improvement. The stitching is also coming out quite nice too. We're getting a bit, we can see more of the orange color in the stitching now. So what we'll do is I'll just continue on the seat. That kind of high levels goes over what we need to do for the process itself. And now we'll finish this side of the seat and go right to the results. So we finished cleaning the leather just so it will match and now it's time for the reveal. So here we can see a very definite before and after. 
You can see even though the seats appear to look quite good, like quite clean, there was a fair amount of dye transfer and uh, debris that has been ground in the seats. You can also see here too, this is very nice and matte and this has quite a sheen to it, especially in these other angles. You may not be able to see that. Um, the towel too, a little bit maybe hard to see, but we did pull quite a bit out. Obviously uh, your, your after, before. We'll reveal this bolster part here. So we can see here quite, quite, uh, quite a difference between the two transitions. The st stitches pop quite a bit now. Uh, we don't see any real puckers in the leather now that it's all been cleaned. And um, that's basically concludes how we clean the seats. So we're just going to finish up the seat and uh, we'll go on to our third, third stage, which is condition the leather. So now we're on step three, which is applying the obsessed leather conditioner. On this stage here, we're just going to shake the product well. We're going to use a microfiber applicator. In this case, we're going to use a white applicator as well. Once again, just so we're not transferring or have the potential of transferring color from the applicator onto the seat. So we're choosing white. We're just going to apply a little bit of leather conditioner. We don't need a whole lot and apply it on the applicator. And now we just evenly apply to the seat. We just make sure we're covering all the areas. It's gonna go down with a little bit of sheen, but don't worry. Once it soaks into the leather, then it's going to go to a factory mat, providing that that's the type of leather that you have. In this case, this is a, uh, a mat leather, or a slight, has just a very slight sheen. So we're just applying the leather conditioner on it. We're going to do the full seat. We're going to let it dwell. It's all going to depend on temperature and humidity on how long we're going to let the uh, leather conditioner soak in. Then we go on to our last stage. So at this point, we're just going to finish the uh, finish applying the leather conditioner and go back into our final step of the four step process. So we applied the leather conditioner to the complete seat and we let it dwell. Dwell time is going to depend on your temperature and humidity. In this case, it just, it's just a few minutes, maybe three, four, five minutes. In some cases, maybe you're going to want to let it sit for up to 20 minutes or so. Then what you want to do is just inspect. If you have any areas that might have a little bit more product or it didn't soak in evenly, you might want to take a clean uh, white microfiber towel and just just lightly buff off the remaining product. If there is, in this case, there wasn't any. Uh, the final result is a nice factory matte, even consistent uh, color and tone. Um, the, the product isn't slippery, so it doesn't, uh, it, it's, uh, and it doesn't add any gloss at all. Uh, just one note or one tip, I guess. We do see from time to time where a vehicle might have blotchy, uh, might have areas that are shiny. This is usually revealed in the cleaning process. Uh, and, and where that happens is maybe on previous details or maybe the previous owner used products that contain sil silicones, maybe uh, leather wipes and such that, pr that have silicones in them and that's the real shiny slippery stuff. Um, sometimes it's very difficult to get that clean so we've had, we've had cases where we have to clean the seats multiple times, let it dry uh, to see if any more areas appear because what will happen is it might look like this for the first while but then it changes and then and then we have areas that are blotchy and that's generally some some previous dressing silicones coming out from the past uh, that you just it just means you just have to do more work so before you do the conditioner just make sure that everything is completely uniform and you don't have to do any extra cleaning you put the conditioner on, you let it dwell, and, and just buff off any excess. So that concludes the four steps on how to use the Obsessed Leather Cleaner and Leather Conditioner.
So we've shown you how to clean and condition your leather seats. We've shown you the radical improvement on this M4, which at first we thought had pretty good condition seats, but right before your eyes, we showed you how much dirt and debris was, was in the leather and how much more improvement we can make with this just by following some, some easy steps. So you as well can achieve these results on your own using the Obsessed Leather Cleaner and the Obsessed Leather Conditioner. These products can be found in store or online at autoobsessed.com. Thank you for watching.